a new European sanction package against Russia is underway and for the first time it will touch the energy sector. But it doesn't go as far as Ukraine would like. However, Ursula von der Leyen will not arrive empty when she visits Kyiv during her visit this week. The President of the European Commission wants to impose an embargo on the coal importation worth €4 billion Euros a year, as well as a ban on Russian vessels from accessing the EU ports. Russia is waging a cruel and ruthless war, not only against Ukraine's brave troops, but also against its civilian population. It is important to sustain utmost pressure on Putin and the Russian government at this crucial point. The new package, the fifth one, has still to be approved by member states, but it goes further on banning exports for vulnerable sectors in Russia and limiting banking activities. But it doesn't touch on one of the most sensitive issues, gas. Countries like Hungary, Austria and Germany are against banning its imports on gas, but the Baltics are pushing for much, much more. I think we should cut uh, buying from Russia in oil, gas and coal. And Lithuania is uh, the first country in the European Union to say goodbye to Russian gas. And we refused to buy gas from Russia already. And I think we showing a good example to all the European countries that it is possible. The European Union has also decided to expel 19 diplomats from the Russian embassy to the EU. Shona Murray, Euronews, Strasbourg.